Hello guys and welcome to a new video on my channel. Today we're going to talk about Marauder. Many of you requested this. So we'll look at each function and then I will show you how to use it. So there's Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, Device and Reboot. So Wi-Fi, if I click on this, we have Sniffers, Attacks and General. Let's look at the Wi-Fi Attacks first because that's very interesting. So we got the. I'll just scroll a bit. So here we have the D of flood. A D authenticating flood is a wireless attack that forges fake D authenticating D authentication packet to drop clients from a targeted access point. This can disrupt the network connection of clients on that network. So if you're connected to a Wi-Fi, this can like interfere with the connection and make you disconnect. So I'll just click on that. So now nothing's happening. That's because first we need to go to Wi-Fi. So go back. Um, back then we'll go to Wi-Fi sniffers. Then we'll go to scan IP. Here. And now it's scanning. So let's say I want to attack Arana, that's my network. I'll just go back. Then I need to go to general. Then I need to select the access point. Here, select access point. And then I can choose my network. Uh, right. I don't. I think we have two networks. One for like a solar panel. Let me just check really quick. Okay, so this one right here is our main network. So we'll just select that. Did it select it? I don't know. Okay, I think it did. Then we'll go back to attacks. Then I'll go to DR flood again. And now it's, it will send packets and try to de-authenticate my network. So I am on my computer right now and I will see if it de-authenticates anything. So it's, I just do a speed test. Let's see if it's slower than normal. Okay, now it's still very fast, so I'll go back and try again. Ah, sorry, I missed it again. Okay, now let's see. Yes, I just noticed it's slower than usual. I think it's working. So that's a good sign. Oh, let's go back. Okay. So, which is way more fun than like this, is to target 
a specific device and deauthenticate that one. So, a uh, deauthentication targeted at attack is the same as the flood, but it's targeting a specific client. So, you would use this to focus the attack on a certain device connected to the network. So, we need to go back here and go to sniffer. Then we'll go to scan station. I think it's this. Yes, this is it. So we'll let it run for a bit. I'll cut right here and then in two minutes I will show you. Okay, so I searched long enough. Let's go back. Then I go to general again. So I have it ready right now. Connected to my phone, the off target attack. Let's see if it disconnects. So I did this one already. Let's see. Oh, it's loading. Yeah, it's not loading. Yeah. So if I go to another website like ChatGPT, it won't load. So you just saw how that worked. So then we have the beacon spam list. Let's go back. Oh no, that was actually wrong, sorry. So you first need to generate a bunch of SSIDs. So that's like fake network. So we go to here, then we'll go to general. Then I'll go to generate SSIDs. And now it's generating them. So it just generated 20 SSIDs. Let's go back. Now we can go to attacks. Attacks. And now we'll go on beacon spam list. And it's sending a bunch of... So... Let's just see here, right here on my computer. Um... Um, on my computer, a bunch of fake networks just appeared, and yeah, you, it, it's not so. No, it just generated a bunch of fake networks, and that's kind of a fun prank. Or you could even name these whatever you want, so that's kind of funny. I just ran out of battery, let me just plug it in real quick. So then we also have the rickroll prank, which is, which is like on every, um, on like every software, because it's just kind of funny. So let me just, yeah. Oh, here's the lyrics of never gonna give you up. That's just a fun prank. Okay, so next one we have the um let me just see so next up is ap clone spam so this will just i won't show it because it will take really long but if your network is named like marauder then it will clone a bunch of these and name it like marauder 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 and so on and then you can't tell which is the real network and that's just confusing for most of the people so next up we have evil portal
So now it just created a fake Wi-Fi. I showed you this many times before. Um, which is called Evil Portal. Uh, I'm just going to connect on my PC to it. Let me just search it real quick. So it didn't work, just try again. Okay, it's ready now. Let me just search it real quick. So, I just found it. So I just connected to free Wi-Fi. Let's see what happens. It's a um, fake email scam again. So if I make password like sky, then continue. Then, okay. So it just sent me the password, username, yeah, something like that. And password is sky, like I said. So that's like crazy if you're like scamming someone, then you get like their Gmail username and their password. That's kind of scary. How Hello. So now we're going into so we checked all the features from wi-fi so now we're going to bluetooth bluetooth has sniffers so the bluetooth sniffers uh, let me just um yeah just give me a second okay so bluetooth sniffers this will just um the bluetooth sniffer tap just bluetooth packets in the vicinity this helps identifying bluetooth devices and analyzing their communi communication so if you click this the device will start capturing bluetooth packets from nearby devices analyze the captured data to identify bluetooth devices and their communication patterns so we find a bunch of um like the addresses from the Bluetooth devices. Okay, let's go back. And here we have detect card skimmer. So this function is used to detect Bluetooth card skimmers, which are often used in fraud will and activities to steal your credit card information. So this device will scan for Bluetooth devices that match the signature of known card skimmers. But obviously I'm like at home, so <laughs> there's no card skimmers. Well, okay, it's rebooting now. Okay, next function in Bluetooth would be Sour Apple. Let me just get my iPad real quick so I can show you. So I just started a screen recording on my iPad. So free to one tower up. So it should now advertise a bunch of these. A bunch of these. Oh yeah, it's working. So it's advertising a bunch of these fake like Bluetooth messages. So I so they are, are just like constantly popping up again. And now they're not anymore for some reason. Let me just try that again. And here you can see that. So yeah. So that was that. So then we have the uh, Swift pair. I think that's for like um, Windows. Okay, it just restarted now. Okay. I think when it's starting to restart, it's like oh, it must have no battery. So let's see if something happens on my computer. But I'm yeah, it's just. Restarting, I think it doesn't work then. So then we have Samsung. 
spam. I didn't have that. Google, I don't have either a Google phone, but this is like spamming all. So this would spam like to all devices. Uh, yeah, obviously you can try that out. So on Wi-Fi, I forgot some things under sniffers. There is the uh, the probe request sniff. A probe request sniff captures probe requests frames from nearby devices looking for available Wi-Fi networks. So this can help you identify devices in the vicinity and the networks they are searching for. So let's try that. So we get a bunch of results. Let's go back. Then we have the beacon sniff. A beacon sniff captures sn a beacon sniff captures beacon frames from nearby access points. This can help you discover avail available networks and gather information. So we see here this the Zorizik the Zurzik is like very dominant in my area. So the D of sniff captures the authentication frames on the network. So this can help you detect the authentication attacks which are targeting your area or your house or whatever or your Wi-Fi. But since no one is trying to de-authenticate my Wi-Fi right now, it won't show anything. So then we got the EA Pole PM Kit scan. So this captures um, that it captures the handshakes, which are useful if you try to um, like um, hack the Wi-Fi password. But I think it's not working right now. Or maybe it will and it saves like it saves it somewhere. Okay, let's go back. So scan access point I did this many times. The packet monitor captures and displays all Wi-Fi packets in real time. Uh, it provides like a good view of the network traffic. I may hide this, I don't know. Yeah, it's really fast. And then we have um, the raw capture. It should be right here. Here. So this allows you for capturing all raw Wi-Fi frames without any filtering or processing. I don't know if you can see it. It's kind of unclear. Here, raw capture. gonna cover that a little bit or I'm going to yeah cover that okay then the station shift uh, sniff I already did uh, so yeah that, that was basically all now uh, so, um, sorry And then we got the device. So you can update, choose language and have settings. And settings, you can do some other stuff. Uh, yeah. So that was basically the whole review. So thank you very much for your attention. I hope you liked the video and please subscribe.